Coming up in this week's show, what's coming up, mate? Now, we have some crazy fails and bails and sends, Neil. We've got a brilliant hack, definitely <laughs> one of my favourites this mm. week. Someone's got a new laptop. Yeah. Plus, we're talking about transferable skills from other sports. Oh, it's, it's a Dutch head show, Neil! <laughs> Welcome to this week's Dutch head show. I've always wondered about this. Are mountain bike skills transferable to other sports? Or can you be good at mountain biking if you're good at something else? Well, Neil, do you know what? I, I, I always think anything with two wheels, from mountain bike skills to anything else, two wheels, I think it is transferable. A bit. I sometimes think with motocross, so I've ridden a lot of motocross, and I've seen lots of good downhill mountain biking. Mm -hmm. Some of the best in the world get on a motocross bike and look terrible. <laughs> Maybe they learn it quick, but to begin with, I think it doesn't necessarily transfer straight, straight away. away. Uh, jumping, it's quite 100%. different. Yeah, throttle clutch, yeah. brake on your foot. Yeah. But trusting in with your grip, I think if you move from motocross and go onto a mountain bike, yeah, or you do a little bit of both, you dabble. I think it does transfer. It does make you uh, more, more what you call it. I don't know. More. Confident. Yeah, that's the word. Ah. More confident, Neil. Yes. Crickets um, and all that jazz. Sorry, it took me a while. You know, Bernard Kerr, I think he did ride a lot of mm. moto when he was a kid and then went to, motor bi uh, to mountain bikes. Yeah. And have you seen his skills on a moto these days? It's insane. Let's it, talk of him trying to qualify for Anaheim 1. I don't know how true that is. Is it true? It's true, I think. Why? Wow. He's just built a supercross track. Well, help build one. I would love to see that. Same goes with Pilgrim. He's done motocross since he was a, a wee nipper. Now, he, he's pretty good on a mountain bike. But what about... Skiing, snowboarding, mm. BMX, I think that counts. Two, counts. Wheels, that two counts. wheels. Roadies, that's two wheels. If you're fit on a mountain bike, you're going to be a good roadie because you yeah. can corner a bike. You can so corner a bike. You've yeah. got to be fit. And, and you can bunny hop better. Yeah. I actually, roadies do bunny hop really good. I can snowboard a bit, but I wouldn't say I'm nearly as good as I am as on, on a mountain bike. No. I think if you were to do board sports like surfing and then snowboarding, I think that's transferable because they're yeah. both nearly the same. Carving and all that. We've seen people try and drive rally cars. G's done a bit. G's He's got done his own that, yeah. fancy. Brandon fiesta. Samanak. He's done really well at that. Now, you could be good at all lines. You know, line choice and rally. That's Nicholas key. Videos, he went and did some World Rally yeah. Championship, WRC. Um, he did really well, actually. He did win some races, did, not yeah. WRC, some mm -hmm. of the lower ones. So, yeah, I think that sort of skill of being really fast on a bike downhiller and, you know, your hand-to-eye co yeah, yeah. coordination, I think that's going to help. Yeah, definitely going to help. What about free riders, Neil? They're like jack of all trades, master of none, yes. but master of jumping. Well, Le Condigui can jump a motocross bike. He's done rally. Again, that's different. Has he? He's done, yeah. He's dabbled a little bit. I wonder. I wonder if something coming to, you know, the retired mountain bikers of the world and they'll think, well, actually, I can do that mm. really well. Like, play video games really well. Oh, I did. you know, there's a lot of money in that. Colin McRae Rally. They, they, still <laughs> they can still do that, yeah. That's where they get all their skills from. Yeah. Computer games. Sean Palmer. So he was a Ooh. pro snowboarder that I think was just one of those people that's pretty much good at anything mm -hmm. they set their mind to doing. And he came and won World Cups, didn't ever win a World Champs, but he was a really great Daniel racer and was a, an amazing pro snowboarder. A bit of a punk attitude. Yeah. And Confident. it really worked. Yeah, it's confidence in bags, that man. And it worked. <laughs> Anyone else? No. I reckon one thing that stops most people is money. I think it can be very expensive. Mountain bike is expensive. Yeah. Motocross. Yes. Snowboarding. Flipping expensive. Rallying. Flipping. Out. That's when you start talking. Big. Well, unless you got your own vehicle, you can do it in your own car. But then you wreck it, then you're stuffed. So is money the limiting factor here for trying other sports? Who knows? I think so. So that's all those like most famous guys that dabble between everything. Brandon Samanak, You've got G. You've got all those dudes that rally mountain bike, motocross. What about the viewers? Yeah. Do you double in motorsports like motocross, enduro racing, and then you transfer that to mountain biking? I guess a lot of people, like myself, that do one thing quite well, yeah. and there's loads of other things they like doing, yeah. but that's just their side things. That's hobby. Mountain biking's the thing that I yeah. really love, but I do try and do other things as yeah. well. Yeah, surfing. Yeah, but not very well. Let us know in the comments down below which ones you do. If you do, do it. Or would you like to try motocross or anything else?
The big news from the weekend was Red Bull Rampage taking place in Utah on those crazy cliffs. Uh, I hope you guys watched it live on Red Bull TV. I did, absolutely loved it. Lots of cool kit coming out of there, some custom bikes. Not all of them last until the actual event. Brendan, I know, broke his bike, I think, casing that canyon jump. Uh, saw some new Troy Lee Daytona D4 helmets as well, all uh, pre-production stuff. But when it came to the event, it was Brandon Semenuk who took his third win with an amazing run. He now equals Kurt Sorge with, with his three wins. Second place went to uh, Brett Reader with a super smooth run. Third, Tom Van Steebergen with a massive flip off that drop. Fourth went to Brendan Fairclough with what was one of my favourite runs to be fair, like a proper downhillers run of Rampage with a couple of big tricks thrown in. That uh, backflip over the canyon, just in pictures of that on social media now, absolutely amazing. It's competition time, we're giving away four Park Tool home repair stands to you lucky viewers. You've got to follow the link in the description down below the video to be in with a chance of winning. So we've got two of the home mechanic repair stands, the PCS 9.2, all fully adjustable, up and down, round and round. So you can work on your bike at home. Super nice, I've got one of these at home. Uh, also folds up if you want to stick it in the back of the van or park it out of the way at home. Plus we've got two of these deluxe home repair stands as well. The 10.2, this is a sturdier build. You've got a stand there to put your bits and bobs in whilst you're working on the bike. Plus a little sort of uh, little holes for your tools to go in. Plus you've got that quick release micro adjustable clamp on there. Get involved, four work stands to be one. In this week's show, Blake, we've got a good old game of send or fail. Oh yes, that good old game. We've not oh, done this for ages. We haven't. So I'm going to start off with a video yeah. and I'll pause it just as the action comes to a pinnacle you have to tell me yeah. whether it's a send or a fail right for your chance to win absolutely nothing uh, okay but here we go it's fine it's all in the fun this ready neil okay this one is logan who loves these simple jumps yep what do you think there's a cool stair set he's going <laughs> well, uh, that's... <laughs> that's good he was absolutely bombing his left shoulder looks like he's twisting Ooh. Can you see his left shoulder dipping? Ah, uh, oh, I'm cool, gonna man. say he's gonna tank slap. He's gonna jackknife on the left. Fail. Fail. Well, sorry, little man. Nope. In slow mo, oh, sends damn. it. He is a sender, isn't Sweet. he? Sweet. On riding a spawn yammer yeah. jammer. Nice. Available for. Pump. That was a send. That was a send. Sorry. Uh, James. I doubted you, little man. Next video. James E. Shot Woods just testing out the bike. Yeah. On oh, the testing. Jump. On the jump. Oh, fail. <laughs> Maybe pause it slightly too late. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he's going very sideways in the air. Oh, oh. that was a funny one. He's oh. jackknifed when he hit the ground. That's what I thought Lil Man was going to do. Boom. Oh. Fail. Done. Yes. One. You got it right. Right, next one. Adam in Port Angeles, Washington. Oh, nice. Oh, there's a bit of woodwork. Oh, oh, that's North Shore, dude. That's legit North Shore. He's, he's dropping. At this point. <laughs> I paused it, and uh, it looks like he's dropping off onto a skinny. He looks like he has to pull sideways and land like 45. But he's just lifted both the front wheel and the back wheel at the same time. I'm predicting that his back wheel is going to catch. He's going to go, ob oh, tubs. <laughs> I think he's failing, Neil. I think... Oh, my! Flipping, eh? I hope you're right. <laughs> I don't know, he can't hear you, Neil. Uh, Adam, yeah, he can't hear me, but let's watch that again. Let's try that again. Um, yeah, both wheels same time and rear wheel catches. Oh, he didn't pull oh. far. He was going too slow. Straight to face. Face. Mm. Right. Well, uh, moving on. This is from Hayden. I thought that I'd record my beginner mountain bike mate going down a rock garden at Holswell Quarry. Hey, I mean, beginner mate. Okay. Sounds like it. What? Okay, rock it is. I don't know. It could be that. Or it could be that. Uh, right. Stop. Send or fail. He's got good. He's got. He came in good. I'm going to say send. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> fail. Hey. Mm. Sorry, that was, that, you I might have some sore nether regions then, Neil. That's been in that position bit. when you're like, I'm getting off. Oh, no, you I'm can't still, get off. You I'm can't get off. Duck in the bike. Oh, that, just, no, I, that was a fail. It was. Mm. Uh, right, Lucas in Heilbronn, Germany, on a whitey Capra. On a casual afternoon ride, I found a whole trail system. Ooh. I met some riders in my hometown. I love stumbling upon these sort of things. <gasps> Jump, bombing into a jump. Send. Oh, I agree, this looks good. Whew. Nice. Well, that's a good cut. Oh, oh. that is good steel style. Cool, send. Definitely a send. Like it. Oh, where's that? I that's A-line, that is yes. the flipping last big tombstone jump. 
is. It is, Neil. Down there, it's, it's a good uh, part of the, it's a big one. It could go horribly wrong. Ryan following his son Luke, who's 13 years old, at the A-Line Whistler closing weekend. I guess what I'm saying, Neil. Oh. You don't want to fall off that big You dog. don't. I watched Sam Pilgrim try flip it in front of me and he died. Oh! Exactly I was like at, that. I was looking at Luke in yeah, front. Yeah, I thought he was going. It was the... <gasps> and it was Ryan, not behind, uh, getting kicked big oh, time. I was right. Luke nailed it. Uh, uh, let's see that. It's the POV we want to look at. Boom. <clears throat> that's a... That was, that's a big jump to just put it to your wrists. No major injury except to my prize. Luckily, them wrists, do you see those wrists? It's the yeah. first thing you go, contact point, snap, wow. snap, snap. Right, next one. Joe, uh, right his Norco Storm. Look at this jump. It's like a, a molehill takeoff. And a molehill landing. Well, a big old gap and then a molehill landing. Do you know what I'm going to say, Neil? <laughs> you, you I'm saying it already because there's something that gives it away. I'm saying send. Send. Yeah, look at the dust. This is right. Joe. This is Australia, New South Wales, Coffs Harbour. Whoa! Yes! Did he send it? He did! <laughs> I think the thumbnail gave it away, Neil. Oh, that was nice. Um, wow, this looks cool. This is in Bellingham. Uh, Goldberg, Matt, and Juliana Rubicon, Jerry. Uh, three hour adventure ride. Wow! Where are you touch. I'm going to say <laughs> fail, Neil. <laughs> I wasn't quick enough with the pause. Um, that was a big old fat. Oh. That's a big old... <gasps> like, hit the edge. Hit the Look, edge he the moved that log. Yeah. <laughs> Quite out of control before then. On that slippy rock, I think, by the looks of it. Yeah. Some scratches and a bloody nose. Oh, I didn't stop her from getting out. Who is this? It's Susan. Ah, oh, this is Jerry's friend, Susan. Yeah. Shame. Big crap. Hope she's all right. She hit a patch of moss on the slab. So hey, that's, so. that's what would do it. They catch you out, those little green blighters. Yep. Fail. Right, it's sent it from Mickle in San Sebastian. Cool, I'll have to get right in there. Cool. Uh, me and my friends have been hitting this drop all day. Sick. I'm going to say all day too much fail. Too much play. Uh oh. All day too much play fail. That's what I'm saying. I paused it. There's one foot down. Ooh. Oh. 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 <laughs> so close to saving it. And then it's there's so far, Neil. someone put a tree there. There's someone, that tree walk. Tell trees walk. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Big one. Look at this. This is, it looks like a, a motorbike enduro track. Benjamin, South Wales, Rhonda Valleys. Uh, here we go. What do you reckon? Sand? Yeah. Bowen. Is that a canyon team? Well, actually, no, can I reverse back? Can I reverse back? Oh. Oh, oh how the wow. hell did that happen? I love that. You know when you do a big over, to bar, over the bars and then you sort of catapult your bike somewhere and it goes, what donk? High side yourself. It's like your feet throw the bike. That was a big yeah. fail. Was big one. Whoa, look at this one. Uh, big OTB, horrible lip, bombing, fail. Bombing into Bombing, it. fail. Big O tips. Um, we were at a friend's house, this is David, when a friend went ham on a ramp without trying this more. Bit one too course. much ham sausage <laughs> then, Neil. I think he failed. <laughs> I knew oh. it was happening, Neil. Bags, I knew it. Bag of spuds. I knew it. Big top. All uh, right, last one. This is Adam, New Hampton, New Hampshire, US. Uh, Does he say he's having a great time of his life? Well, yeah. Well, I'm going to say that's a send. Oh, th this looks to me like a send. Slow mo. Boom. Whoa. On a cross country bike. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, nice. That was send. a fun game. I love, fu I like fail or send. It's like, what happens next? That's it. Love it. If you want to get involved, send it to our uploader, linked in the bio down below. Hacks. Bodges. Get in there. Right, let's start with Emma, who's in Christchurch, New Zealand, running a giant glory. Yeah. Uh, just after I got my new downhill bike, I wanted to put my tools on it. So I looked uh, I looked into the, one of the Topic Ninjas, but realised that my bike doesn't have mounts for one. No. So I made this out of wood and right. duct tape. Whee, that's a bodge. Made out of wooden duct tape. I That's... mean, that probably automatically qualifies it as a bodge. <laughs> yeah, yes, very true, Neil. That way is handy. He, he wanted all that stuff on his bike. He's made it possible. She did. It's Emma. Sorry, Emma. <laughs> she did. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Emma, that's terrible bodge, though. I got one from Laura. Lauren. This one, my friend. She was riding down the trail. She realised her hanger bolt fell out. I mean, 
the axle holds it in. It does hold it in. It's a good thing about the old QRs. A it's a QR, yeah, quick yeah, release, not but not very well. No, and then she just used green zip ties or cable ties. Boom, boom, put it together. Now bit, that bit, is a that's a bodge, Neil. But bit, it gets you off the trail. Bit dodge, otherwise known as bodge. Bodge, bodge. Um, if that breaks, you're in trouble. Neil sticking with the zip tie booms, right? Bodge, bodge. Before I've ever seen it. Yeah, this bodge. is Paul. Paul. He had a bit of an incident. Obviously went over the bars. The bolt thing's come out. And the bolt thing has come out of his lever on his brakes. And look what he's done to keep it in there. But I mean, that is a perfect example of bodge because that's something to get you home. It's exactly that, Neil. Works. It does work. Well done, Paul. Now this one, I said at the start of the show, this is the best hack ever. Now yep. I've actually might have decided it's not hack. Okay. It might be the biggest bodge I've ever seen. <laughs> this is Matto in Montenegro City. Yeah. Look, check it out. So. He got a bike that was super there. cheap, yeah, but it was a bit small, right? So he's pulled the seat post out too okay. much. You know what happens? You know, there's a minimum insertion thing on your post, yeah. If you don't run that, it's it puts a stress and snaps takes that. the top of your. I've butt. done it, have you? I've done a jump bike, so it's like cracks your top of the UPS yeah. seat tube, yeah. I, yeah, but ingenious bit of work here. He sort of uh welded on that bar and then right. his collar, right. so it's fixed it. She needs a new seat post. Fixed it. Pretty amazing. Do you know? Do, uh, that must have been quite hard to do. That was very hard. Yeah, that was very hard to do, Neil. But why didn't it. you just get like a longer seat post? Uh, true. Yeah. True. In the but then the brakes, the bike's broken now. Though, it's so broken. Got fix, it's got to right? fix it. But that is that is an ingenious habodge. Habodge. That is a habodge. So what do you think? I think Matto has got to get the jersey yes, this week. 100%. Jersey to Matto. A GMN jersey. Sense of detail. Stick it in the post. That'll match your bike as well. Yeah. There you go. Okay. It's in the post already, Neil. Just a reminder, if you haven't done, subscribe to GMBN. Oh yeah, please. Because why not? And don't forget to hit that bell icon, because you get not notified every time we put a Dirt Shed show out. Right, in the comments from last week's show, where we were in Finale, and yeah. we were talking about the best places to ride, because mm -hmm. um, it got us thinking. Basically, we've had some great comments, and yeah, so a hit list of places that I want to go to. <laughs> First one, 19 Red Miata says, My personal favourite is Vale Lake. They have a good jump line that you can session multiple times easily. The trail is called the Tunnel of Love because uh, the vegetation forms a tunnel for most Ooh, of the trail. Oh, nice. Sounds that cool, sounds like it? a cool one. We've got one here from Will. I'm currently studying in Stellenbosch. Oh, nice. In South Africa, which is near Cape Town. Uh, I've been riding here for the past three months, and I've, although these trails are sort of fly under the radar, I argue that they are some of the best trails ever. Um, yeah, I've seen some amazing I've videos. ridden there, Neil. Uh, apart from Darkfest, I've ridden there some of the trails. Insane. Doesn't Cape Epic, I watched some of the videos from that this year. They go through there. You see the sort of POV videos, some of those were in Stellenbosch, or mm -hmm. went through Stellenbosch, I think. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, Mabeka, Sweden. Great ter terrain of all sorts. You're allowed to ride everywhere except people's private gardens. Mm -hmm. Didn't know that. So Didn't know that. Proper ride to Rome. Yeah. I've been to Aura back in the day. That was Ooh, a yeah. cool place. Yeah. Mega day. Scotland's good news. A bit like that. We've ridden there. That's good. True. Yeah, you got ride to Rome, Scotland. Yeah. You can sort of ride any uh, public paths. I think mm. you probably do the same as long as you're not riding on people's gardens. Yeah, exactly. And P uh, Paolo Rodriguez says Sintra in Portugal. You should try it. It's still sunny here. Ooh. Ooh. Funny you should say that. We're we going, Neil. We are. <laughs> Coming up on the channel this week. Oh, Neil, we've got a Halloween special. It's hello weird. It is weird. I've mm -hmm. seen the bike. It is scary weird. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not riding it. You're riding it. I'm riding it. It's my um my imagination went wild. Every single bike I love in one. <laughs> uh, it makes the worst bike ever. <laughs> And we're doing an epic ride uh, around my neck of the woods, trying out some two-pot and four-pot Shimano brakes. Mm, Can't that's wait a good that. one. So I ski. Didn't yeah, scare I knew it was coming. Oh, thing. damn. I damaged it. I know what that means as well. <laughs> it's a bike bolt, Neil. It is. Careful, I've got a new computer over it. Um, I could break this one again. Don't you break this one, you break the last one. <laughs> right, the first bike is from Julius. It's a 2018 Rocky Mountain Thunderbolt. Oh, it does look like thunder. A50 with new proof pedals, red and black. That's Probably beautiful, isn't black. it? It's in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Uh, this is new bike day. Hey! It's new bike day. It's all... Well, 
sounds terrible. It sounds. I mean, that's got to be worthy of a super it's nice. Definitely every new bike day. Yes. Uh, Ooh, tell you what. Whilst we're on the subject, yeah. I put my bike on the GCN app. Have you seen the G GCN app? You can put it in the bike vault, and because it was a mountain bike, it didn't get very many super nice. Really? Well, everyone download it. Put mountain bikes on there. Yeah, do it, do it. Honestly, it's funny. Uh, hopefully, there'll be a GMBN app coming at some point. Yeah, maybe. Uh, anyway, on to Nicholas and his Scott Voltage FR730. Ooh. Riding the local woods to have some fun. That's nice, Neil. It's like the free rider's bike of choice. Yeah, it, it is nice. Nice. Well, nice. on the front X Fusion Forks. 26 inch, I'm thinking. Yeah. Nice, nice. 27.5. Nice. Nice. Uh, Ooh. Dang, is that an NS? It is. Oh, I'm like that. NS Fuzz with custom painted frame. That is nice. Uh, this is I like a picture. In Stockholm. It's a cool picture. Isn't They're it? very nice. I mean, it's super nice. Super nice. Oh, look at that. that. It's track. Y22 996. Uh, Do you know, it does look like the Specialized as well. Does it? I can't remember that one. Look at the old Fox Shock on the back of it. Was it a Fox? What was that called? Vanilla? I no. can't remember. Nice. Um, I bought this bike a few years ago as a very upgraded X race bike. Oh, what? Flat pedals, a 40mm stem and 720mm bars. Wow, that's cool. That's nice. It is cool. What are you saying, Neil? Yeah? It's the chain on it. That's cool. Cool. Nice. Nice. Whoa! Whoa! If, if Mr. Ashton was here right now, he'd be jumping up and down. He would do. Throwing everything around like an orangutan and saying super nice. This is Joel's bike we bought uh, for his daughter, I bought a bit. Banff, Alberta, Canada. That's super nice. Look at the mountains. Super nice, Neil. Cool bike. Yeah. <gasps> look at that. Oh, look at that. Black gold. Look at the wear spokes on it. There's spoky dookies on that. Um, Brian's Intense Recluse 2019. Oh, I've been riding a 2014 Trance for the past two years. Um, That's a hell of a seat post. Look at the seat. Oh, it's Look slammed as well, isn't it? Freaking dropper on that. It's like 200 mil or something. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's, not, it's, it's nice. It's the bike, nice. The bike has got a name. Oh, I know. This might change my set. It. It's called Sugar. Super nice. That's cool. Black Sugar, that. Uh, uh, Patrick and his Commissar Meta AM V4.2. Philippines. Oh, that's nice. That like, is nice. Man. I like the way on those Commissars there. The front of the shock sits almost up inside. In the, the tube goes yeah. around underneath. That's super nice, bike. I think really nice. Do you like it? I do. Super, super nice. nice. Ooh. Ooh. What's going on here? Matthew's Whitey Capra. <laughs> AL Comp. It looks like he's doing a um, like a catalogue shoot for his bike. Uh, this is in Bellingham, but although well, you wouldn't realise it because it's in a warehouse. Yeah, it just looks like it could be like in Poland or Russia or England or uh, France. Matthew says he's got a new, co new coil shock. However, a recent crash in Whistler has kept me off the single track. Uh, Bummer, but get well soon. Nice. 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 Ooh, so, Neil. Track Roscoe. That looks like it's a fat bike rear. <laughs> it's not, it's just a... It's just an illusion of the... Uh, it's like a fisheye yeah. camera. It's yeah. Like Chase. It's nice. Spencer. Nice. I like hardtails, Neil. It's nice. Whoa. Another? <gasps> Another intense. Is this the same bike? It's not. It's not, no. Look how big that this drop is. Great, it's intense spider. It's a different bike. That is nice, that. Black and gold in Barton Creek Green Black Belt. Black and gold. Uh, I mean, for me... That's super nice. Gold. Oh, it's super nice. Ross Canyon Talk CF 7.0 in Comrie Comri Croft, Scotland. Nice. 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 Well, I can go, go back a sec. Look at the bar roll. Holy mother of mollies. <laughs> well, they're rotated super far back to me. They look, doesn't they look quite a bit like. Yeah, no, yes. Um, Thomas on his orange stage. I can't five. see it, Neil. No, I can't. It's too camo. It's nice. It's camo. It's a cool picture. Look at the sun coming through there. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Pretty cool. Nice. 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 Final bike. I would say super nice, but the bikes are out of focus, Neil. The dog is in focus. The dog is in focus. This is Chase, it's uh, Kona Honzo ST single speed. Now we know what it is, it's super nice, I think. Yeah, Alabama. The bike's called Kona, uh, the bike's Kona, the dog's called Kona as well. Hey, Kona. Nice, super nice. Super nice. 
that's the end of the bike vault, Neil. Thank you for sending in all your beautiful bikes, no and matter what they are. And it's the end of the show. Hi, uh, monkeys, why? <laughs> this week's right out of time. Uh, if you want to keep watching, you can watch a video, well, two videos in finale we did. Yeah. The EWS challenge over there. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That was good fun. And does following make you faster? Up there, flat. It does, Neil. Oh, I did, that time. Thumbs up. See ya. Bye.